वेलकम बैक नाउ न्यूज फ्रॉम स्पोर्ट्स billiards and snooker lovers in goa will be licking their lips at the prospect of watching the biggies like pankaj advani and peter gilchrist play in front of their eyes the asian billiards and snooker championship will be staged at club tennis de gaspar diaz in miramar in the first week of april the tournament is organized by billiards and snooker association of goa and ongc is the title sponsor This is for the first time that a Q Sports Championship of such a huge stature is coming to the state. Players from 13 countries will be playing in these championships which will no doubt serve a treat of high class billiards and snooker. The details of the Asian Championship were revealed in the press conference on Tuesday. To announce two major tournaments which we are going to conduct in coming April from April 2nd till the 8th of April. Uh these are asian tournaments in the then one is a uh, asian billiard tournaments and one is asian under 21 snooker tournament so this they will run concurrently side by side the semi finals may be on uh, saturday or maybe spill over to sunday and finals will be on sunday indian players who are coming three of them have been the asian champions before like alok kumar is the last year's champion billiard is alok kumar पंकज अडवाणी रुपेश शाह अरुण अगरवाल देवेंद्र जोशी एंड ध्रुव सेतवाला अंडर ट्वेंटी वन इज लालरीना रेंथ्याय लक्ष्मण राउत हिमांशु जैन ललित दहिया मुंदीर शिराजी एंड लक्ष्मण uh it was actually uh, we asked them to uh, give it to us normally what as explained earlier also this uh, game in goa need lot of exposure to bring it from grassroots level we have to make first on top lot of exposure so we said uh, high profile events like this will create lot of exposure and then people will start coming a sports reporter nikhil parera with video journalist prajot pednekar from miramar Goa's Talasha Prabhu's Olympic dreams suffered a major setback at the recently concluded Singapore National Championship. India's A swimmer finished 5th in both the 100m and 50m freestyle. Although Talasha is extremely disappointed with the result, the teenager is buoyed by the fact that there are two more international events wherein she can give her best timing and qualify for the London Olympics 2012. Talasha is down in Goa and Prudent caught up with a teenage swimmer to know what went wrong in Singapore. What exactly happened and what held you back from uh, doing well over there? Um first of all I'd like to say that I've been practicing really hard and I went there with a strong will power and everything but being a sprinter is rather tough because um it's just over in one lap you have no time to think it's just over in that one go. So I guess I have to say that it wasn't my day. I just got to keep practicing harder, improving my techniques, planning on improving my dive, something new. So let's see maybe I can cut down at least a point over there. Okay. Yeah. So this is a new technique that you're devising. Could you share uh, more with us on that front? Um basically my coach has told me like once I go back to Bangalore, he's going to teach me how to do the track start. Um It's been so long since I was swimming and I still don't know how to do the track start. So hopefully this can uh, really help me improve, uh, you know, help me a lot on for my 50 meter sprint. Talasha has two more chances to make it on India's Olympic swimming team in international meets coming up in May and June. Um I'm planning on being a little bit more serious this time. You know, just going to practice hard. Uh, you said that you were going to take it more seriously, so did you not take this event seriously? well it's hard to say i'm quite i'm a little immature sometimes but um, that's exactly my weakness my coach hates that about me so this time i'm going to really focus hard talasha there's a, there must be a lot of pressure on you because uh, i mean you say the entire weight on sachin's shoulders but the entire goa's weight is on your shoulders when you talk about swimming everybody looks up to you as representing india how are you coping up with that i'm just not um, i'm trying to keep it aside and just be myself right now like what i was before i ever 
excelled so well before I did all that. I'm just trying to be the Palasha I was before. So let's see. Maybe that can also help me. I'm not taking any tension right now. You feel Olympics team is still on your uh, cards? Um, of course. It very much is. I refuse to give up hope. Our sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Prajot Pednekar from Panji. After a gap of almost a decade, the SESA Cup is back. The SFA Cup will see top football teams in action starting on Saturday. The finals will be played on the 1st of April. The first time SESA organized this tournament was way back in 2003. The SFA Cup details were revealed during a press conference on Tuesday. Uh, we have got, uh, uh, or rather we could manage the attendance of all the Goan big clubs for this tournament uh, for the Churchill, Salgaonkar, Dempo's Sporting, uh, Brazil, Brazil Football Academy, Sesa Football Academy, Cabello Singh, uh, then Kutkaring Gymkhana. Uh, basically, uh, eight teams, so starting from itself from quarter final, it is knockout. And uh, we have kept the small prize money, token prize money, winner 75,000. Ranas are 50,000. Correct? And uh, momentous to all final uh, uh, finalist team uh, participants, uh, members, as well as the officials. And each match will have a man of the match, uh, some token appreciation. A sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Prajot Padnekar from Panji. Log on to www.truerunmedia.in if you have missed the bulletin. You can also follow us on Twitter by following us at Truerun Goa to get the latest news as and when it happens. Meet us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash media. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Truerun Media.